What is up guys? Welcome to vlog number seven. I have some epic things to share with you guys. It has been a crazy past couple of days. So without further ado, let's get started. Let's go. All right guys, so this is where I'm at today. I'm 172.6 pounds. Now, the fact that I'm at 172.6 pounds and I haven't lost weight is honestly not a big deal because what I'm about to share with you guys is about to blow your mind. In fact, probably the title has a clickbait to get you to read this anyways. But I'm feeling pretty good, getting pretty lean, and given the fact that I just ate 14,000 calories in two days over the weekend and I lost weight, don't you wanna know how? I'll tell you guys in just a second. Hi, what's up people? So, still pretty early in the morning, but I figured I'd share with you the story that happened over the weekend. So as you know, on my last YouTube vlog, I did a refeed day, which was actually on a Friday. So the next day, I went to my parents' house and they had all this extra food there for my sister who had a surgery, but she didn't want it, so they gave it to me. And it was two quarts of ice cream, a roasted vegetable pizza, four light mac and cheeses, and yeah, that was it. So I took it home and I decided I was gonna just try a little bit of ice cream. Don't do that, don't flirt with ice cream. You don't flirt with ice cream. There's no such thing as flirting with ice cream. You just eat it all or you don't eat anything. But I ended up having a bite and it was so freaking good. It was cookie butter from Trey Joe's and one thing led to another and next thing you know the box is empty. And next thing you know the next box is in my hand and I go, oh I'm just gonna try it. Like French vanilla premium ice cream. I just wanna try a bite. Again, I don't know what I'm thinking just trying it. I don't have that kind of willpower with ice cream. And next thing you know, that box is gone. And at this point, I've already 4,000, 5,000 calories in for the day. Cause it's some heavy ice cream. And I already had like a uh, overnight oats. And I just said, fuck it, right? And I ended up eating all the mac and cheeses with a whole bag of light mozzarella cheese, which sounds like a lot, but it was only like 1400 calories. And then I ate the roasted vegetable pizza and I made a protein milkshake. So that Saturday around 8,500 calories. Now you would think uh, I would be done uh, binging after that, right? But I woke up the next day and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna fast today, I'm gonna do it. And then I was like, ah, fuck it, I'll just eat light. And I had like, you know, I did pretty good. I had like a banana, I had a little bit of granola, I had like a uh, Quest bar, an apple or something like that. And then, I don't know, I said, you know what, fuck it, I binged yesterday. I'm gonna binge today. I'm on Uber Eats. Ordered a pan pepperoni pizza with the, ate the cinnamon sticks, which was so good by the way. I ended up eating all that and I ended up eating another 4,500 calories, which put me over 13,000 calories in two days. Now at this point, I went from 173 pounds to 183 pounds. So I gained 10 pounds in two days. Now obviously you can't gain that much fat in two days, but I was feeling like shit. I felt guilty, I felt ashamed. I didn't want to post my daily accountability on Instagram, which I do if you're not following me on there, follow me. But I felt ashamed, I ended up posting it, and then I decided to do a 48 hour fast. So I fasted all day from Sunday at 6 p.m till Tuesday at 10.30 p.m. So I did a 52 hour fast. Now I exercised intensely on both days. I hit chest day on Monday and my strength gains were still fine even though I was fasted for over 24 hours. I did Jiu Jitsu on Monday night and I rolled yesterday. I've never exercised fasted for 48 hours before. But I did it and I felt fucking amazing. Like I felt great. Apple cider vinegar, by the way. Like, I felt the best I ever felt, like, exercising while fasting. And I came back home and I weighed myself, and I weighed 172.8 pounds. So I weighed less than what I weighed on Saturday morning before the weekend binge. Now, I didn't eat that much food, but I broke my binge, and it kinda, I mean, I broke my fast, and it kinda messed up my stomach a little bit, because I didn't break it right. Like, I had apples, but then I had a Quest Bar and some hard boiled eggs. I think the Quest Bar and hard boiled eggs messed with my stomach, so I only had around 700 calories last night, and I woke up today around 172 and a half pounds. So not only did I binge 14,000 calories and do a 48 fast, 
But I ended up losing weight because of this. Now I don't recommend doing this, but hey, fuck it. That's a great way to start my day, knowing that I have been reset, I have all week to lose weight again, so I can't wait. This day is gonna be pretty cool. I'm, it's pretty early right now, it's like 4.50 a.m. I woke up really early for some reason, so I'm gonna hit the gym in a little bit. It's gonna be a back day, back and shoulders. I think you've seen this workout before, but I'm gonna bring it and film it, because I think I'm gonna hit some new PRs today. So there's that, I'm teaching yoga, I'm doing an interview. So let's get to, without further ado, let's start the day. got done the gym it was epic I can't believe I fasted for two days ate only a little bit last night and every single lift of mine got stronger today. I went up in my shoulder press I went up in my weighted chin-ups I went up in my weighted barbell rows crazy the only thing that like suffered a little bit was my lateral raises but my abs were stronger too so don't believe everything you hear about fasting fasting works it boosts your testosterone you're not gonna lose strength just because you fast for two or three days I'm living proof but now it's time to get ready for work I got to rush over there so I'll see you guys there all right so I'm here at the yoga studio about to teach my yoga class and I just want to share with you guys the intention for today so the intention for today is about Practicing non-attachment, so not being attached to things, not being attached to your body, not being attached to a certain outcome, and about embracing change, because the only thing that's guaranteed to happen in life is change. So, if you get attached to a moment, that moment is fleeting. Happiness is there for a moment, sadness is there for a moment, so don't get attached to it. Accept it for what it is, see it for what it is, and then let it go and create space for a new moment to come. So that's the intention today and I can't wait to share with my class and I'll check in with you guys actually after I get home I'm going straight to an interview where I'm interviewing my friend Nemo he uh, started a company called Vision Trading Network and I'll link his YouTube channel right here he has a good uh, YouTube channel called Nemo Vlog so check him out but I will talk to you guys after that and yeah that's it so I'll see you guys soon what up guys so I'm back home I already did my interview I taught my yoga class your boy's a little hungry I've been snacking a little bit I'm not intermittent fasting today because I just fasted for 52 hours so I think I could take one day off intermittent fasting but I've been excited for this meal all day I'm gonna show you guys how to make an authentic acai bowl at least my version of authentic so we'll check it out if you don't know what acai bowl is dude you're missing out so much you need to learn but Acai is a Brazilian super fruit. It's purple. Let me show you guys what the pack looks like. Boom, that's what it is. It's purple little frozen thing. I get mine from Trader Joe's because it's cheap. The Samazon ones are expensive. These ones taste almost the same. They're, they're not as good, to be honest with you. They're still really good, but they're cheaper, like half the price. So let's get to it. I'll show you guys how to make it right now. product this is the acai bowl that I made my own little recipe I used a little bit more mangoes than usual because I wanted some more fruit 
but this is a really good healthy meal. Uh, let me tell you a little bit about acai. So acai is a super fruit from Brazil and it has a lot of antioxidants. It also has all three omegas, so three, six, and nine. So it's really healthy for you. It has more antioxidants than red wine and chocolate. It tastes, it kind of tastes like chocolate too. It has a really dark flavor. It's really sweet. So this is almost like ice cream, right? But it's healthy for you. And the consistency, the way I make it, is like ice cream as well. So this is gonna be really good. I've been waiting for this for a couple days and I can't wait to have it. If you have a question about the recipe or you want me to send you a recipe, leave a comment below and I'll post it for you guys. Uh, if not, I'm gonna go and eat this and enjoy it. So what's up guys? Just got finished teaching my 60th yoga class ever. So that's pretty cool. Um, little update about my day. Um, so I ate all my calories from 7 a.m. after I finished the gym till 2.30 p.m. today. I was supposed to eat at maintenance around 2,800 calories or 2,900 calories and I ate a little bit over, I ate around 3050 so no big deal um, just like I said just finished teaching yoga I'm at the jiu-jitsu Academy I'm gonna read meditate and then I'm going to go train jiu-jitsu and I'm gonna do an actual 24-hour fast again just because this shit's way too easy for me so I finished eating at 2 30 today so it just means I'm gonna wake up and eat at 2 30 tomorrow and that's usually the time I eat normally so it doesn't really feel like I'm gonna be fasting, it just feels like I'm going back to my normal eating schedule, but I get the benefits of burning a little bit extra fat, probably offsetting the extra 150, 200 calories that I ate over maintenance. So no big deal, <clears throat> but I'm about to go train. I've been training really hard. I actually plan on competing in Jiu Jitsu in November. So I'm using that plus my weight loss goal to help me stay on track. So I need to get to around 164, 165 pounds. So that's about eight or nine pounds down from my current weight and I will be at around 9% body fat. So not only will I reach my body fat goal, but I'll be prepped and ready to train jujitsu. So I'm about to go do all that stuff and I'll see you guys when I get home. All right guys, so as I was meditating in the parking lot at jujitsu, I fell asleep. So I woke up in class that already started and I realized that I was freaking exhausted from only sleeping three hours, being up since 3.30 in the morning. So I just got home. The vlog is gonna end right now. So thank you guys for watching. If you liked the video, smash that like button. Leave a comment below, tell me what was your favorite part. And if you haven't subscribed yet, consider subscribing. This is Kayvon saying, peace.